Hey guys, this build was made for the Sacred Bricks mock contest. If you haven't heard of it or of his channel yet, I'll leave some links down below because you should definitely go check both of them out. Now, whenever I've built something for a mock contest in the past, I've always tried to make something that I haven't made before, and that was no different for this contest. I decided to build my first own custom LEGO spaceship that is inspired from Star Wars but can't actually be found in any of the movies, shows, or thousands of spin-off books. I haven't actually picked a name yet for the ship, so leave your ideas in the comments below, and I'll pick my favorite and reveal it in the next video. Now, this ship is mostly inspired by two other other ships that do exist in the Star Wars universe, Moloch's Landspeeder from the movie Solo, and Mando's Razorcrest from The Mandalorian. I really love how both of those ships look, from the color scheme to the worn down aspects to the overall shapes, and I wanted to include some elements from those ships in this ship. When building this, I started at the front and worked my way back. I made this section first, then the two engines, and then this section, which I connected to everything else. I built the terrain part of the mock glass, but I still wanted to include as much detail in it as I included in the spaceship. Because it was my first time making a LEGO spaceship, I had to eyeball pretty much everything, and there were a lot of times where I would take apart an entire section just to fix one thing. I'm really happy with how I got the engines to look though, and I used a lot of interesting techniques to get everything to fit together. You can remove part of the cockpit to take a look inside. Because the spaceship is on Scarif, which is a planet from Star Wars Rogue One, I decided to include some shore troopers on the inside. This might sound surprising, but I've actually wanted to build Scarif in LEGO for over two years now. When I made this Star Wars crate mock a while ago, I was actually considering making Scarif instead. So when I was building the terrain for this mock, I thought it would be cool if I finally built Scarif, and that's what I did. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the cockpit includes some controls at the front, a seat for the pilot, some blasters in a crate, and a door that can actually slide open. The way I made it was by fitting some brackets pieces with a tile on top into these L-shaped pieces. I tried to include as many small details as I could with the smock. I added in some rods along the side, a bench rod, an area where a light gray panel might have fallen off, and a lot of grill pieces and a lot of discolored plates in multiple sections to make the hull of the ship appear worn down by time. I also tried to include a lot of differently curved angles in the ship to make it look more clean. On the bottom of the ship, I included four legs to help it stand on the ground. All four of them can actually fold up to become flush with the ship. Now let's talk about the terrain. I really think that this might be some of my favorite terrain I've ever made. It ended up having a slight oval shape, which I'm really happy with, and the main color I used was light tan with an area of dark tan to represent the sand getting wet because of the water. Scattered throughout the terrain, I also included a bunch of grass and foliage pieces, as well as two trees to spice up the build. I found that you can make almost any Lego mock a little bit better just by adding in some greenery. Anyways, that was the build. I hope you enjoyed the video because I had so much fun making this, and it was such a cool experience for me to build a LEGO spaceship for the first time. Feel free to leave your thoughts on this build in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.